Gym Leader Castle in Pokemon Stadium is the game's default story mode, and honestly, even if you only use rental Pokemon that the game offers instead of importing your own team, it's still quite easy. So I was thinking, how can I make it more challenging? Well, how about we play Gym Leader Castle Round 2 instead of Round 1, which is unlockable in-game after you beat Round 1 and Mewtwo in Stadium mode. Round 2 buffs pretty much every trainer to have stronger Pokemon and movesets. The other way to make it more challenging is to restrict the Pokemon that you're allowed to use. And since I've been beating the Battle Tower in Pokemon Emerald using teams that all share a type, I thought, why not do the same in Pokemon Stadium? So here we are. In this video, I'm attempting to beat Gym Leader Castle Round 2 using only Ghost-type Pokemon. Well, Gen 1 only has three ghosts, so my team consists of Gengar, Haunter, and Ghastly. I changed movesets as I made progress in the challenge to adjust to the changes in opponents. One thing you should know is that you can actually trade between Gen 1 and Gen 2 as long as the Pokemon involved are Gen 1 Pokemon and only have Gen 1 moves. This matters for this team because Gengar is able to learn Ice Punch in Gen 2, but not in Gen 1. And by trading it back to Gen 1, you're able to import it with Ice Punch into Pokemon Stadium. That helped a lot because movesets in Gen 1 are extremely limiting. Anyway, here's some of the highlights from this challenge, I hope you enjoy. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Sakurako and Tokyo Treat. Sakurako and Tokyo Treat are monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes delivered right to your door. With Sakurako, you will receive traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items including exquisite Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware with your box every month. With Tokyo Treat, you will get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Kit Kat flavors and many more. This month, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are bringing the beauty of cherry blossom season right to your doorstep so you can have your own Hanami picnic with our special Sakura themed snack boxes. These boxes are not only packed with delightful Sakura themed treats but also feature stunning Sakura box designs. Get these boxes and use my code 3ccchrism at checkout and you will save $5 on your first box. I was told that only this month if you use code HANAMI when you purchase the Sakurako box, you will receive extra items. Every purchase of Sakurako and Tokyo Treat directly supports the channel, so please click the link in the description to get your first box today. Thanks again Sakurako and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. And now back to the video. Alright, round two. Secret attack. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon wow, how does Paris tank that? What? It's probably different AI as well, like better AI. I'm worried, man. Oh, man, if it's good AI, there's no way we beat Sabrina's gym. <laughs> it was already a miracle how we beat it in round one. Yo, Gasly's pogging. Our boy! <laughs> And how does it survive? Oh my god, you can already tell that the the Pokemon are way stronger. Uh, yeah, that looks different. That is definitely round two. Yeah, look at the HP value. This Omastar is maxed out. See, for even for Dig, Dig is so common. Maybe it's good to like have substitutes. So I could block it. The more I think about it, the more I like substitute. Digs a hundred power in Gen One. Oh. Stage clear. All right, Misty. Do I do it? No, 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 no. I'm staying on the same move set for now. Next time I'm playing through a Pokemon game, I need to have a, a nickname theme. Like like the stadium ones. Oh, it's Diglish. Diglish. A massive explosion. A savage hit. Wow. Explosion down. doesn't even one shot. Come on. That means I don't want to have explosion on Haunter anymore either. Haunter could do Psychic, Thunderbolt, Substitute Nightshade. No. No! What now? Dude, this trainer! What is this? No, Welcome to the crew! Yeah. Do I outspeed? I don't outspeed! They're fast! They're so fast! Oh! Okay, it didn't crit me. Wait, if I don't one-shot it, that's GG. No way, it's and over! Power versus power. How's that? Super effective. 
We're already losing. There's only the second gym. Conta, can you just like tank? Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not with a crit. Doug Trio just sweeps. <laughs> okay, okay, we have to make a change. We have to make a change. This is already a struggle, my god. We're changing explosion to substitute. I don't know if we need it on two Pokemon, but. All right, move set change, here we go. Okay, the Duck Trio is an instant killer, right? <laughs> like, we can't do anything about it. We have to, we can crit it or freeze it. <laughs> That's a good option. All right, all right, I'm gonna open with substitute. Nice, and we kept the substitute for Duck Trio. But did that even make a difference? Because we took damage from the substitute now. And we lived with what? We lived with a little bit of damage only. Duck, Duck. Oh, the AI, the AI doesn't know what to do against substitute. What? That is surprising. That's honestly a little disappointing. Oh, I guess it wasn't. It was hard. I, mean, I think that was probably hard coded behavior to always lower accuracy before attacking. I wonder how people that have never seen Stadium before like it. Like someone that's new to Pokemon, you know? Maybe someone that started playing Pokemon like Gen 6 or 7. Seeing these old games. What's the what's the gimmick on this trainer? I don't even know. Yo, primer? No. It's down. We're not gonna get a new Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Scarlet already has a stadium. And if you're if you're like, oh, but the mini games, I want the mini games to be back. Well, look no further than the, the, the sandwich minigame in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Everyone loves it. She has an executor? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I think we have to crit it or freeze it to have a chance. It's already over. It's over because they, it one-shots the other two. Maybe Haunt, I could tank a hit. Haunt, I can live a hit. Crit. Ah, crit doesn't kill. It has to be Gengar one-shotting or freezing it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. All right. If we fail this attempt, I'll go hypnosis. Oh, nice. Wait, we crit this one, but not Misty's? Come on. All right, here's Misty again. Our current win condition is to crit or freeze with Ice Punch. If it's Duck Trio lead. It isn't this time. Okay, okay. Freeze. That does not a lot of damage. Wait, that means we lose if she brought Duck Trio. Because only Gengar can beat Duck Trio, and but not if it took damage before. Well, let's just hope she didn't bring it, I guess. Frozen. Wait a second, Gen 1 Freeze? Oh, if only I attacked. I used the substitute, but... If it's Dark Trio, we lose. Oh, wait, no. Haunta can live a hit. Oh, but it can't one-shot it because it doesn't learn Ice Punch. What will the next Pokemon be? Yeah, we're just doomed if it's Dark Trio. What is it? Seedra. Okay, okay, we have a chance. We have a chance. Let's go. We might be fine then on attempt number three in Misty's gym. And the crit to seal the deal. Nice. Oh, wait, there's still Exeggutor. <laughs> it's not over yet. Surge Gym. Here we go. I guess we'll keep everything the same. Nice. That crit mattered. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been a two shot. Uh oh, this is really bad. Live. I may have thrown 
by using substitute. Nah, nah, Haunter's gonna live ahead. Surely. Crit mattered. Save. Gen 1 crit rate. Okay, it looks like I cannot three shot it. So, optimally, I try to freeze it on the next turn, right? What's this? Good hit. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. It created a substitute. No, it went for Thunderbolt because I'm low HP. Ah, I wanted to have a substitute for the next Pokemon. There it goes. That one no. Hurts. The crit. How's that? That's a good hit. Licky Tongue There's would actually destroy us. Okay, Tangela, it's o the only move that can hit us is Mega Drain. So that's pretty good for us. Crit special drop, let's go. I might live a hit. Ooh. <laughs> no. What's going on? Thank you, Mega. And a crit again. What? Coming right down to the one. Surge done. Erica's gym. Here we go. That might be a toughie. Actually, no. Only Tangela is not weak to Psychic. It's making a quick rest. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Fireworks are flying as it falls asleep. I'm going to try to lower the special because it's going to keep using rest. Wait, is rest worse in Gen 1? Because the sleep waking up takes an entire turn, right? What's this? It woke up. Oh, no, it wakes. It just wakes Fire up a turn earlier. Okay. That makes sense. No, that makes sense in Gen 1, then. It's the same as in Gen 2. What do do? Hit. Oh, is it down and out? Wait, this trainer has a duck trio. Oh, Didn't bring it. Let's go. And there goes the battle. Did you know in Gen 1, Snorlax learns metronome? So you can There's use metronome fly. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I'm dead. What will it do? Watch the weak. All right, that could be bad for us. And finally, the combatants are making spark. Oh, Honta outspeeds Doge, yeah. Wow! And there goes the battle. What's the matter, trainer? What's the matter? Shut up, dude. I'm thinking. Vigorous attack. Nice I crit. I don't have explosion anymore. Okay, it does have ice beam. And that's its move it's going to use on us. So I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm going to use Substitute to not get frozen. And then I'm going to try to lower its special what attack. What will it do? Oh hit. my god, it doesn't know damage. And it has soft boiled. And minimized, by the way. What the, the sub broke already. Oh my god. I might actually just straight up lose if I don't bring Explosion. Nice. 125. Okay, so I can live one more. Okay, I kind of want to switch to keep Gengar alive when we have to spam and kill this Chansey. Could try to paralyze it as well. I'm going for another special drop first, I think. Nice. Oh? Yo, we're fine. This is good. It's at 100 HP. Oh, I don't have Nightshade here. Thunderbolt. Alright, next match is already Erica. 
Chansey wasn't scary. It was just gonna be annoying. Like, if it actually healed and started spamming Minimize, we, it would have just been a very long match. Alright. Erica down. By the way, Erica had a Dugong. What? There's always, like, one weird one in these gym leader teams. Alright, Koga. Here we go. Clefable's only move is Metronome. <laughs> oh, and Mimic, by the way. I'm gonna use Substitute. Oh, but Mimic in Gen 1 is different. It created a substitute. It's okay, it learned Substitute. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go for special drops. I should go probably go for freezes instead, actually. Oh, I got a special drop immediately. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oh my god, it's gonna have double team and substitute. I'm gonna just try to freeze it. Okay, wait, if I hit the next move, it goes down. Alright. Avoided disaster on that one. And why is Koga's gym always such a troll? Lurking. Shout out to the lurkings and lurkers out there. Oh, I can't do it. Freezing. There you go. Toxic Explosion Haze Sludge. What will the trainer do now? Well, that does no damage. Is there any... Hmm. I'm gonna just set up a substitute yeah. before knocking this out. Oh? The changing okay. Oh, it's what now? Yeah, this trainer has a ditto. Oh, clutch paralysis. Clutch fully para. Jinx evolution in Gen 10. I don't think they'll ever touch Jinx again. I don't think they want to put any more focus on that Pokemon. I mean, as far as I know, I'm stupid. What? Wait, I actually threw? I used Substitute even though I can't afford one, so they could have totally, like, sweep... Wow! I actually just threw so hard. If they just used uh, Transform there, we could have lost. Koga is leading Hypno, which uses Hypnosis, Psychic Counter, Psychic Toss. So, Hypnosis or Psychic, what do we expect? What do we expect? I would just expect Hypnosis here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Let's go. Wow, that does almost nothing. Okay, it did go for Psychic. Like that Pokemon hurts. Shot. Damn. Oh, that's really bad. Para. Damn, it's more than 100 HP, so... I'm gonna take a hit again. A yeah, I don't know how we how we oh, win that. We, we might have to change now. move for Hypno. It's not over. No. Oh, is it down and out? If... Muck, Muck can't really touch us at all. Uh, and neither can Parasect. And Weezing isn't that scary either. Oh, it's Venomous! Mm. We're evenly matter-affected. Wow! It's not down. looking good. It's not looking good. Do I confuse Ray? Or do I just knock this out with two psychics? What what what's the play? All right, please hit yourself once because I can kill you from here. Please! It's over. Ah, the Hypno is too strong. I think we just gotta keep, like, try again. I don't think there's anything we can change to make it easier. Like, the only other move that would be good against Hypno would be, like, Hypnosis or Toxic, but... All right, we go again, we go again. Why are we switching? This is so weird. Oh, it's Alakazam! It didn't do much damage. <clears> this is fine. Battle. This is fine. Don't worry. I'm faster. What's wow. This is fine. Don't worry. 
Crit. Into survive Psybeam. No! 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 Haunter might be slower. It is faster, and it didn't heal. That's good. But he crit me again! No! There's no way Ghastly wins this on its own, right? Alright then. Ah, let's try again. Sabrina will be fun. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. So basically, if Koga brings Hypno again, we just lose? Oh, well, if it's the lead Pokemon. Just lead Muck or Tangela or Parasect. Oh man, Hypno lead again. Dude, we're so screwed. Maybe I should go for, should have gone for freeze. Ten percent to save the the run. It does over half, bro. I'm gonna try to freeze. I don't think I have another choice. Ten percent. Oh my god, let's go! It might switch. I'm gonna just spam psychic because I'm expecting a switch. Yep, 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 yep. Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. A psychic flash! Outplayed. Outplayed. Pokemon Just freeze. <laughs> That's a good hit. That was so lucky, though. Going down. That's it. Stay clear. Substitute is great. Substitute means you can't get status or stat changes. Sabrina is next. <laughs> Oh boy, surely nothing can go wrong. <laughs> oh god, I'm just checking the movesets. She has a Snorlax with Amnesia. Amnesia, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. <laughs> How are we gonna kill that? And rest, you can't even toxic it. Not to mention like all the psychic users. Oh god. Okay, I think getting to Sabrina is gonna be easy, but then once we're there, oh boy. There's a couple Pokemon that can't really like her Executor doesn't have Psychic, so that's an easy win. Her Hypno can't actually hit us, because it, its only move is Dream Eater. So Executor, Hypno are free, and then everything else is terrifying. Okay, Wigglytuff maybe not so much. But there's no way she doesn't bring Alakazam and or Snorlax. Wait, what? Gen 1 makes no sense. Oh, because it's a stone evolution. Never mind, it does make sense. Oh, I used the wrong move. Oops. And I got crit. Instant punish. Oh boy. Oh no, I was distracted. Oh, it outspeeds me. I may have played myself. No, I can still win. I can win. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, well, okay. There it is. That Snorlax is probably the single scariest Pokemon, and the Alakazam is also terrifying. Everything else will be fine, I think. Mr. Mime is like the third place. Third place scariest. Dude, if it's Snorlax, I might just try to freeze it. Okay, it's Alakazam. So that's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> that's gonna be really bad. Do I try to freeze it or do I try to paralyze it? I'm gonna try to paralyze it because it, it should outspeed me. It does outspeed me and it goes for Psychic. Okay, that's really bad. Oh god, that's so bad. Para. Why, why didn't I try to freeze it? There's no hope. There's absolutely no hope. Alright, if we see Alakazam, it's just GG. Damn, all this work to get to Sabrina. And then she leads Alakazam. There's no way Ghastly tanks, right? Oh, it lived. It needs to hit itself once more. Otherwise, no chance. 
Oh my god! Uh -oh, Wait, we're still in it? It's not over. It's not over. Okay, okay, that's fine. But we have to sacrifice Ghastly. Let's go, Ghastly! Oh. Oh, it's down. <laughs> There's only one What's the last? Left in Can the I room? let it be exactly 12, please? Oh, no! Okay, this has Thunderbolt Ice Beam. The What's the play? Confuse Ray. Of course. <laughs> go into <laughs> of course it's Confuse Ray. <laughs> <laughs> it's so broken. <laughs> My special was lowered. Um, I'll just go for damage. It, it has no way to heal, so I'm just gonna go for damage with Nightshade. <laughs> oh my god, the ghastly! I can't believe... What is happening? I'm so glad I talk Confuse, Ray. It does not care. It just does not care. Alright, I'll go for the crit here. Crit kill. The para! Let's go! It shook off its confusion! No! Ghastly! No, no ghastly sweep. <laughs> oh, it's Hunter! Down to the wire! Static attack! Good hit! <laughs> and it's down! Uh, too good. That's too good. How the Alakazam lead. Oh, all right. Blaine, Giovanni, E4, champion left. And that's where we're going to continue next time because it's getting a little bit late. Uh, so Blaine's next. We shall continue with the ghost only challenge. They tried to rearrange the letters of Muck, but they, had, they, they, had, they did not have many options. Hey, chat, we're fighting you next. All right, Blaine. He has a Parasect. It's over. Also, Chansey. Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Soft Boil, Minimize. I will be trying to freeze this. What now? A decent hit. It's really bad. Made itself more evasive. No. What's that? You know it's going to do good damage, too. No. What's this? Damn, we had a, a lot of attempts to freeze. That's unfortunate. Also, can you miss one, please? Hello? What will it do? Good hit. I got another attempt. I'm down. What's that? Dang it. There, it's a hit. That's a confused Nice. It's confused. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll get I'll try to paralyze it for next. And then I keep what trying to confuse it. Oh, the and then I keep and then I'll try to drop the special. What with sidekick. Oh. Alright, nice to burn. It still has ice beam, by the way. That's the last one. Shut off its confusion. No, no, it crit me. Oh, it's so over. Uh, I mean, my strongest move is Thunderbolt, which is what I was spamming anyway. Here we go. I, it is still confused, which is nice. A, a para would be so, so big. No, dude, I used like 50 moves. <laughs> Where's the status? No. no. Oh, this is so tragic. Maybe, maybe spamming Psychic from the get-go was the goal, was the, the play, you know, to lower the special. But, I mean, we haven't gotten a single proc yet on anything. The weak, spot. the weak spot. Not the weak spot. Charizard was the last. With Earthquake. So that would have hurt if we didn't one-shot it. 
All right, we have to go again. We can give explosion to Haunter instead of substitute. Like that's an option. We could do that. Uh, or we just hope it's not chancy. Uh, to be fair, we had a pretty good chance to win this with this team. We just needed to get, you know, a proc. Like a freeze. Would have been nice. It's okay, it's easy. It was pretty easy getting there. No. Special drop. And that's the first Pokemon. Dude, I lose this. I'm, I'm switching. No, I'm not stacking Gastly. I'm switching to Hunter. Hunter lives in it. No, it crit me. No! Look at you! Crit from slow bro. It's like winning the lottery, man. Alright. Blaine. Attempt number two. The Chansey is super scary. Oh boy, straight up. Okay. We're gonna try to freeze it. That's the only hope. This is like attempt number seven or eight on, on freezing, I think. No. Oh. Wait, Psychic is one in three in Gen 1. Is that better? Or should I keep keep trying to freeze it? No, I, at this point, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to freeze it. M maybe on the next attempt, I'll spam Psychic instead. What's this? There, it's a hit. We're in too deep. What now? Come yeah, on, dude. We're over odds. There should have been a freeze by now. Also, it hasn't missed Fire Blast yet. Just saying. Unbelievable. Maybe Gastly can finish it, I don't know. Or I'll just go, I'll just go for... You know what, I'll just go for Nightshade, screw it. No! It tried to use Soft Boil. Dude, the confusion's gonna end. The confusion's gonna end. It's over, man. It's over. No! It's not over. Not gonna give this this up yet. Can you miss? Hello? Definitely messed up strategy. I should have just spent psychic. Do? Like after two or two psychic drops, it prob it's probably stronger than Nightshade anyway. And after a drop, we do more damage with every move on Gengar. Oh, crit? No longer confused. Okay, so I have to use confuse right now because it's gonna. Oh, look at that. It's gonna use soft boil now, so I'm gonna confuse Ray. Nice. Oh, it actually didn't go for soft boil. So I'm just gonna go for an now. There's no way Hunter wins on its own. Alright, right, 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 right. attempt number two didn't work either. We go again, we go again. I think going for the freeze was the right play. But we can try going for Psychic Drops this time. Dang, it's always slow, bro. I wonder if the AI, like, is smarter with their picks now. It seemed a lot more random in round one. All right. We're back at Blaine. Attempt number three. Wait, he was leading Parasect on the first. What's going on? And then Chansey on the second. Chris Grimm. All right, all right. The Parasect lead, that's a freebie. We'll take it, we'll take it. No! Wait! That's so bad! Please don't switch! Please don't switch. No! 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 Oh my god! You can, in Stadium, you cannot freeze more than one Pokemon. It's there, it's like, there's a there's a freeze clause. So we, we have to spam Psyche now. Hey yo. <laughs> Hello. Okay, that's fine. We just started. Psychic does more damage than Nightshade now. So that's pretty good. Can we get another couple drops though? I can't believe we froze Parasite first try this fight. That's so stupid. That's so uh, that's so unnecessary, man. No. It why is it spamming softball though? That's odd. Come on, drop it. No. It's dead. Well, oh, actually, not yet. I can keep Gengar alive. 
Gengar outspeeds Rapidash and Charizard. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. So it would be kind of nice to still have it. Oh. Toxic? Oh, we could bring Toxic, that's true. The Chansey's almost out of moves. And that was just one special drop. Look how long we're surviving after just one special drop. Imagine if we got a second one. What? Is it out of moves? It might be out. We might be winning. What now? What's that? Where was that? Ages ago. Okay, I think I think we're winning. Like the Parasite can't attack. The Chansey just restored its special stat. <laughs> oh, but he got rid of uh, evasion. Yeah, I think it's out. So we're just gonna have to like slowly finish it somehow. So do I, do I try to status it first then? I don't know. What'll it do? Nice. Dude, nice. We can still lose? How? Oh, we could still lose if we miss like 50 moves in a row. You're right. Okay, we got three special drops. Is this what hell looks like? <laughs> like... We're winning this. It's just on. gonna take a while. Another special drop and a crit, which did less damage, but I'll take it. So it's minus five now. Okay, it's out of soft foiled. We just have to hit it once more. <laughs> we don't need health. There's no attack moves left in this fight. Wow. <laughs> It's finally taken down. All right, Blaine goes down. That took way longer than expected. Three attempts because of the stupid Chansey. So looking back at it, Psychic was definitely better because just after one special drop, we were able to PP stall it. All right, Giovanni's gym. Dude, Giovanni has some really weird Pokemon in round two. Like, why does he have... Okay, the one you could understand, Nidoking, Nidoqueen, and Persian, makes total sense, right? Then he has a Tauros, which is like, okay, makes sense too, you know. Can use Earthquake and all that. And then his other two Pokemon are Gengar and Moltres. Like, what? Because Gengar looks evil. Okay, okay, that explains Gengar. But Ma Moltres? <laughs> now that's a weird one. Ton man, yeah. Is that French? What does that mean? No, it's French. You don't get it. Tongue Licky is French too. Nah, that's just that's just a weird nickname, guys. Come on. French detects it. It's a, it, it means your magnet. Ton man, yeah. Ton man. Ton man. There you go. French lesson complete, hashtag educational. I, I looked it up three times, I got three different results, and chat's saying it's not a word. And all, all is probably correct. And that's why I chose Latin in school, and not French. Oh, we're on Giovanni already. All right, I don't know if this is gonna be a scary fight or not. I didn't check their movesets yet. But it looks, it looks all right. The final gym leader, Giovanni. The dawn of brown Pokemon. Giovanni. The Earthquake Taurus could be kind of a problem. It's the king of Gen 1, Taurus. Three shots. If it two shots us with Earthquake, like, we have a problem. Damn. Damn, I don't have enough HP left to make a substitute. Substitute is how we would beat Gengar. Gengar and Moltres. Oh, actually, no, he would use Nightshade at this point. Oh, it's Persian. I might live a hit from Persian. Oh, I did not. Oh, boy, it's all ghastly now. Whoa! Whoa! 
No, come on. What now? A decent hit. Duh, there's no hope. I don't think I don't think we can win. Like, what do we win against here? The last would have to be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we can win. <laughs> no, Giovanni, first try. Haunt a lead, man. That's scary. Yeah, Haunt a Taurus. Taurus lead. Oh, fear! Oh my god. The 35 special stat is really showing on Hitman Hand. Alright, Giovanni, attempt number two. Should I lead Haunter? If we expect Taurus again? Because then I could hit Taurus once, and then Gengar finishes it with two more hits. This is the first time we're ever not leading Gengar. Alright, we still lose though if it crits us. Crit, ch crit chance too high. All right, All right, attempt number two didn't go well. Swept by Taurus this time. That was worse than last. Submission doesn't do much damage. Ex explosion, if anything. Like, we could do Thunderbolt Explosion. That's probably enough to kill. I'm gonna give it Explosion. We don't need Substitute in this gym at all. All right, Giovanni's gym attempt number three. I don't have Substitute anymore. Here's the first move. So I I'm gonna get Sport here. Uh. <laughs> we could we could lose this because of this the spore. Uh oh. Of course. Oh no. They know we don't. They don't. They know we don't have substitute anymore. <laughs> By the way, I need Substitute to beat Moltres, I just realized. Moltres and Gengar! No, it crit me again! Oh! I need... I need Substitute... On Moltres... Uh, on, on, on Gengar. So... Maybe for Tauros, instead we use Explosion with Haunter. Substitute dodges Moltres' Fire Spin and Fly. That's why it's really good. And Gengar, Gengar will open with Hypnosis, so kind of scary. Dude, I really want to beat round two today, but if it if we keep like failing, we we only beat Blaine today. <laughs> we made no progress. Always no progress. I thought Pokemon games were supposed to be easy. Oh, we got a different lead this time, but we got to stab Earthquake user, so I'm probably dead. That's okay, that's okay. This battle is still up in the air. Super effective. And then against Taurus, we can we can Thunderbolt and then explode. What will the and then Ghastly has to beat the last, which is super scary. Okay. So I would use Substitute here, but I don't have it anymore. So we have to dodge Hypnosis. Oh. Yo! No way! Oh, I used Nightshade, let's go! Is the last Taurus, though? Don't give me hope! What is it gonna be? Persian! Persian! Alright, GG. Yeah, we got it this time. All right, I'll definitely try the E4. I'm not ending yet. It's too early. I need to. I need to try the E4 once. Let's go. We're just gonna first try it easy peasy, right? Let me check their move sets because we might want to change back to what we had before. Lance, dude, Lance does not have Dragonite. Neither in round one nor round two. What? That's his Pokemon. I'm changing. I'm just changing back to what we had. 
We have to beat... Do we have to beat Elite 4 plus Rival all in a row? Oh my god, yes, I think we do. Because I can't go up. I can't go to Rival. Oh my god. That is so bad. Well, wish me luck, guys. No, oh, if I knew! We gotta download the opponent, man. So now I know that Starmie will open with Thunderwave. Looks like we're going to Exeggutor here. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> oh god, this is already so bad. <laughs> it crit me again! <laughs> That's it for that's it for attempt number one. <laughs> okay, we go again, we go again. That doesn't count, obviously. Oh my god. How did I how did I beat this? Alright, Gengar versus Cloister this time. Cloister has clamp. Ice beam. I'm gonna open with substitute here because I think even we would even live in ice beam. Dang it. Okay, we did tank it. So that was a good, that was a decent, a decent idea. Crit. Keep the sub. Nice. Ooh, devastating. <laughs> God damn it. Changed their mind. Yo, we might actually live. Ah, uh, I think the sub mattered there. Starmie special is not that high. No, the crit mattered. I think Gasly lives a hit too, as long as we don't crit. Dude, come on! We gotta try again, right? How am I gonna beat Agatha's Alakazam? There's like a bunch of Pokemon we just have to dodge. There's like, there's no winning against Alakazam. There's a, there's a Snorlax with an Earthquake! How do we win? Chat, I think this challenge might take us a little longer than I expected. We might be on the E4 for a little bit. I, I sent out the wrong Pokemon. Oh, uh, Hunter can two shot it. No, not even close. Yeah, Gastly was the play there. Okay, Gastly got this. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't even worry. Ah, no longer confused. All right, Exeggutor again. I need a crit or freeze to win against Exeggutor lead. That's not too bad, right? Here's the first move. Mighty blow to the word go. What's that? Smack the weak spot. Oh, well, it's a range with one crit. Super effective. Its only move is Blizzard. After that, it can't hit us anymore. If I start spamming Mega Drain, I might be able to just heal back to full. Oh no, I should have just not attacked. I need one miss probably. Okay, I need to use rest. So I can heal up now while, while it's sleeping. And then it'll be out of Blizzard, so we win against Wigglytuff as well. Okay, this might be our first Laurel I win. Alright, looks like we're finally making a puzzle aura. <laughs> that was uh, a pain. And there goes the battle. Bruno, in theory, the easiest one. I don't know if that's true, though. He does have that amnesia slow bro. Uh oh. It also has Thunder Wave. Is it using Thunder Wave here or Psychic or Amnesia? I don't know. I I don't know. 
I'm gonna substitute though. I I'm expecting Thunder Wave. And even if it's Amnesia, that's like okay. <sighs> that's worst case, man. Okay, it went just straight up for an attack. I go Psychic here on purpose. Hope for the one in three. What'll it do? Oh, I live. Hit Monique can't hit us. Uh, Alakazam outspeeds Gengar, yes, but it doesn't one-shot it. There it wow, so if it's if it's the lead is literally and like Alakazam down. versus Gengar, I just use explosion, which I don't have. Never mind. <laughs> then I just then I just uh, paralyze it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. There's like no hope. Agatha, just don't bring it. Just don't bring the Alakazam. Agatha, you should bring Arbok, Venusaur, Gengar, or Gyarados. Just pick three. Alright, alright, that's a good start. Good start. Now. Changing Pokemon. Th that's Pokemon good? Free hit on something else? Ah, it's Venusaur though. Venusaur. Hit the weak Good damage, good damage. Maybe I'm wrong. What? We're switching Pokemon again? And uh, Jinx is the last one. What now? Good hit. The pair of Jinx. No. Oh, wow. This is the zero turn. Well, one turn and then one. There's no zero turn. There's a sleep clause, yeah. Sleepy freeze. Whoa, that's tough. Down, that didn't take much. And there goes the battle. All right. All right, here we go. All right, just freeze. <laughs> like, how are we supposed to win this? Right? There's absolutely no way we win this. There's no chance. I think freeze is the way to play this. Earthquake is gonna two shot me. Easily. Just freeze. Here's the first move. A decent hit. Damn. Oh, amnesia. Okay, that gives us more more chances. I'm down. It doesn't even have any special moves. It just it's just physical. Freeze. What now? Watch the weak spot. No, it crit me. No! Ah, uh, Confuse Ray was the play for sure. That was a little unfortunate. Mm, I don't know if, if Ghastly would have lived a hit though. So it would have been Confuse Ray into into Confusion hit. <laughs> okay, can Ghastly win this on its own? With Confuse Ray, I think it's probably possible. Charizard has Earthquake and Fire Blast. The last Pokemon would have to be slower than us. There it goes. Ah, it's over. Oh, Gym Leader Castle has finally turned into a, a challenge. Everything else was so easy until now. So we could do Hypnosis instead of Substitute. And then we just have to hit it a couple times. Just a couple times. I mean, we can, we can, we can hit Hypnosis like six, seven times in a row, right? That's no big deal. Okay, I'll do one more attempt. One more for the fans. And I'll, I'll add Hypnosis. Crit or freeze, please. What now? Wow, Neither. Okay, that means I have to send out Ghastly next. Okay, 1v1 now. That could be two, I mean. Uh, honestly, a bad start. Oh, wow. That's like no damage. Already? Frozen. What the hell? What's that face? It's like that. <laughs> it's like that, that one emoji. Dang, you guys have it. Post it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at it. All right. If it's Starmie last, we only win if we crit it. Uh-oh. Oh, right. It's Articuno. We already knew that. Oh, that's really good. All right, that's a two shot then easily. I was about to turn off the stream if I got frozen again. All right, we're making it past Lorelei. 
again, which is really good. And we have hypnosis. I need to be not afraid to use We're it. Down to one Pokemon of five. We're gonna make this the last attempt tonight, okay? I need one special drop, and I think I can spam thun uh, Thunderbolt after and then it goes down. down. Yeah, that should be enough to be. I win the 1v1 against the Fable, so I don't really want to risk using Hypnosis. But then again, if I just hit one Hypnosis in like two turns, it would be super worth it. I need to be not afraid to use Hypnosis. Let's go. Don't wake up immediately. Nice. It's fast asleep. Neither Dang, Hypnosis, like, absolutely carried that fight then. Not taking damage from Capable is crazy. And there goes the battle! Bruno is always the fastest one, yeah. It lived on 10! And it went for Confuse right again. Oh, man. Okay, if I... Switch. I could win by using hypnosis on everything else. I don't want to hit through confusion. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sec Haunter. I don't know if that's a good idea. It has to make up for lost well, it won't. There it goes. Whoa, like Unless it somehow it speeds in. No, it doesn't. Wait, this could be a range. Ayo. What? Venusaur? No! I don't have... Wait a second. I don't have substitute anymore. No! It should be fine. Oh, it's dead. Is that it? We're fine. Everything's fine. It's a sleep on the job. It's a sleep on the job. I don't think I've ever heard that line, actually. Alright. We're back on Lance. Yeah, it's a hit. This is what we taught hypnosis for. Okay. Come on. What now? No special drop. If I go double Thunderbolt, do you think it goes down? I need a crit or a drop. Dude, come on. No. I'm not going for a third. Absolutely not. Okay, it didn't crit me. Okay, that's a really good start. And Gengar actually outspeeds everything else on the team. Okay, Kanga has Earthquake as well. And kills us from here. Um, if I use Thunderbolt, it will do about a third. So I'm gonna hypnosis. <laughs> oh no. No! No! Just chill for a sec, bro. Alright, how about you actually sleep? Is that enough? To three shot? Yeah, it is. Kangaskhan's death is always so dramatic. Alright, what's next? Oh, it's Lepra! 
All right, so we outspeed it with ha with Ghastly and Haunter. Uh, so I could just use Thunderbolt. I don't know if we two-shot it, though. Probably not. But if, if one of them crits... Also, it, it can't one-shot Ghastly. I'm just going- I'm just going Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's a three-shot. So, as long as it keeps using Psychic, Ghastly can two-shot it. Oh my god, this might come down to a coin flip, because Confuse Ray. Alright. Round two, rival. Here we go. <laughs> oh god, it's the song. It's the song, that the bad one. Uh, it does have... It does have Psychic and Leech Seed, but it's probably going for Psychic. Um, Ice Punch is a range to three hit KO, so I'm gonna Hypnosis here. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god. That is such a good start. Please, just actually sleep. Nice. It might be over. No, no, I can't say that. It's it's a good start, though. It's a really good start. Come on. Critical. Bam. No, nope. all right. It woke up, it woke up, it woke up. Um, crap, that, it didn't sleep long enough. Wait, we did 133 on that Ice Punch? So that's good enough, right? If I use Ice Punch twice more, like, we're good. What now? That one hurt. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, excellent start. Excellent start. What's next? Nine Tails, Confuse, Flamethrower, Dig. Do I risk another Hypnosis or just attack? What's the matter, trainer? I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack. Oh, it's so tanky. Okay, it went for dig. So we, we could tank that with with Ghastly. Wait, wait, Ghastly's slower though. So Ghastly would just be sacrificed. Nine tails is faster than Ghastly and and Haunter. It's actually gonna be close though, because I don't know how, how their stats exactly. I guess we set Ghastly for an extra hit. Man, that does that did so little damage, we should have probably used hypnosis. Should I use should I use hypnosis now or still attack? I don't know. It did not even a hundred damage. I need three more. Three more hits to kill. You get two chances at, at hypnosis. Oh my god, what a why does this keep happening? Okay, that's at least two hits. Ah, all right, nine tails goes down. Yo, thank you. All right, nine tails down. What's the last? What's the last gonna be? Pincer, let's go. I like the bus. I like the bus. Does have thunder wave. Seismic Toss, Psychic, Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm just gonna attack though. I'm gonna attack with Psychic. Like Thunder Wave, I guess, would be worst case. Oh god. I'm, we're gonna have to hit through Thunder Wave. What are the odds to hit through uh, Paralysis in Gen 1? Is it 50 50? 25%? Really? Oh boy. Oh boy. Please. Oh my god, please. 25% to be fully parried. Special drop. Okay, at least we get a hit. Crit! Just crit now. I think Haunter outspeeds Electabuzz. Oh wait, no, it's, it doesn't. Electabuzz is faster. We're down to one Pokemon 
want a shot. It's not over. Please. Ah. No. Oh, the crit. Savage attack. GG though, we won. Oh, is it down and out? Congratulations! Yeah! The ghost types are gone in stadium. It was all for hypnosis. I can't believe it. That was so lucky. But I had to do something like that to win. This is like nostalgic for me, even though I've never done it. Just like my monotype battle tower series, this was a lot of fun to mess around with and figure out strats. If I continue and try to do this for every type, well, I just beat poison type at the same time because all gen one ghosts are also poison type. Let me know in the comments if you like this challenge and if you would want to see me continue with other types. Please subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and bye bye.